Resistibility is used to interactively design the compartmentation layout as well as down flooding points and load cases and may also be used to import SACS cargoes into the vessel. Here we have a vessel opened in stability with some compartments defined. These are defined numerically in this table. You can see you can have various compartments which can either be compartments or tanks which can be filled with a fluid, for example these fuel oil tanks, port and starboard, and ballast tanks, port and starboard, defined by an aft and forward extremity, and then the cross-section shape of the, of the uh, forward end, and this can either be prismatic or tapered longitudinally. Key points may also de be defined in a similar manner, given a name and a position, Here we can see the different tanks which can be selected. These are automatically formed to the shape of the hull um, with no need for additional fitting. The load cases automatically contain the ballast tanks or any tanks that contain fluid. Here we have the fuel oil and ballast tanks and any number of fixed weights. In addition, you may also load cargoes. If you have a cargo defined in sacks, we can select the cargo file, section library file, then we define the points that set up the orientation of the cargo in the vessel and its location. You can also incorporate the different load cases. So now if we look at our model, we can see the cargo has been loaded. If we want to adjust the position of the cargo, this is done quite easily. So I can move that further aft and further forward. We can then incorporate the cargo into the load case by simply referencing its name. Here it's called Cargo 1 into a load case. And then Colour changes to indicate that it's referred to the cargo, one of the cargoes in this table. And if we were to change the location, it will update here. So here we can see the centre of gravity is at 88 metres for the cargo is at 88 metres. So if I were to move the cargo further aft. You can see the cargo shifts and the total centre of gravity of the vessel will shift. Then all these data can then be exported in a format compatible with MOSES. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.